First of all, I thank God Almighty for a day like this and all the way that he has kept me up to this very hour. People of God, we are not celebrating the birthday of this man, but the grace of God. Because we are all equal before God. Why me today inside the church? We are celebrating the work of God. We are acknowledging the anointing of God. We are appreciating that God is using this brother to lead a congregation like this one. And I want to say thank you to all the church leaders, the members. If I cannot, you know, talk about the people of Kabwe, it's like, in uh, uh, fair. let me say thank you to Kabwe people who are here. God bless you so much. For you to be here, it is not because of me, it is because of Jesus. I don't know you before now, you don't know me before, but Jesus made me to know you and you to know me. This is why I have to say thank you for your coming and your going back under the blood of Jesus. To all the friends and partners of this ministry, I want to encourage you. I've been saying this and I will continue saying it. You will be proud of this land and you will be proud of this brother that you are supporting. There are people who may not see what you have seen. I'm encouraging you. This is just the beginning of our journey. Continue doing what you are doing for this ministry. You are not doing that to any human being, but to your creator, the one who has brought you to this life. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving this ministry and loving me as your brother. I shall be always remain grateful to what you are doing to me and to the ministry. Because where there is no peace, Forget about progress. It is your support that made me to be peaceful. And you made me to pray through what you are doing. When I was, you know, somewhere. You are here, you are working. Through your support, the work of God is moving forward. But don't forget that the one who made everything to come to pass is God Almighty. Sometimes when I see a day like this birthday, I feel ashamed. The reason is that um, I don't know, I don't feel like, uh, why me? I haven't done anything because I still feel like uh, I haven't reached there. That is within me. I feel shy because I feel like I haven't done what I'm supposed to do to attract more of his attention and more of his power to win souls, to heal and to deliver. That is the more, you know, reason why we need to trust Jesus and stand together so that you and me, we can go flat out and win millions and millions of souls. People are celebrating birthday every day. But our celebration should not be just because there is food, there is money. No. Think about the one who brought you to this life. What have you done? When you are celebrating your birthday, is your creator benefiting that birthday? Is there any profit that you have made through your birthday? There are others who drink beer, there are other, all kinds of, you know, celebration. But for this one, I am humbled. 
for your love, your concern. Like, uh, was it the day before yesterday? This one is not a deliberate thing. Make no mistake. Personally, I don't even remember that, oh, this week is my birthday. No. Was it yesterday or the other day when the sister approached me that, ah, that day, they said, ah, ah. So, this week, he said, yes. I, I am not lying. I am saying the truth. Why? Appreciate what God has done in your life. When people are appreciating you, like uh, you have put this uh, decoration, for me, I need to do more for my creator. He deserves all this respect and honor. I am just a servant. I have to humble myself so that God can elevate me by winning millions and millions of what? Thank you very much for your love and your support. Continue supporting your brother. And I promise you that I will not disappoint you in this life until I leave this world. You will be proud of me and will be happy that you are part of this journey. Remember that this year we are opening a TV station. That is a greatest achievement in our life as a ministry. Shall we clap for Jesus for that one? We are opening a TV station. It is not easy, people of God. It can only take the hand of God. This year, 2024, through your support, by the grace of God. The, the, the boy was talking about, the, I will never, never stop talking about the covenant we made. You may not know the benefit of that covenant. In fact, I'm going to release the cards to withdraw the paper that you have so that you can keep it well, well. The covenant what? Cards, which can last for, for life. The covenant we made is not just, you know, a word. It is the reality of his relationship with you and me. Amen. So I'm praying to God that I need to release this card so that if the paper can be, you know, destroyed, that one cannot be destroyed. For you to know that this covenant is very, very important. There is war in the spirit. If the spirit are not happy, why this covenant? These people are in bondage for years and years. Why now? But God has already done it for you and me. We are not going to fall under any trap from the ancestral or witchcraft in our family. Make no mistake, going to church every Sunday, there's nothing wrong. But with a questionable relationship with God Almighty, it's like you have never been to church. Because the evil spirit will be in control over your life. So I'm grateful to God Almighty for these two. The covenant and the TV station. I'm happy.